Today I'm going to show you how to extract a cloud from the sky in Photoshop. Hey guys, I'm Jason Olsred, a creative portrait photographer, and today I'm going to show you the rather useless skill of extracting a cloud from the sky scene. Now, I say it's useless, but it's really not because I actually use it uh, from time to time in my creative portraits when I want to give them a little bit more depth, as I just did in my uh, creative portrait called Campfire Drunk. And I had the moon and I wanted to create a little bit more depth. So I, what I did is I extracted this cloud from the sky and I laid it over the moon and it gave it some really, really nice depth. So it's not completely useless. You can give you a lot more depth in your images, you know, if you use it right. All right, so just use it right, <laughs> okay? Now, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe if you wanna follow along with more useless tutorials just like this. And if you want to download this image and follow along with me, or if you wanna use this sky scene in your own uh, photography, go ahead and head on over to patreon.com forward slash the creative portrait. You'll also get a lot more in-depth portraits over there or uh, tutorials over there on the portraits that I create. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in to Photoshop. You know, we need to stop meeting this way. Here we are back in Photoshop, getting ready to do our thing, our magic. All right. So today I'm going to show you how I extract a cloud from the sky. And you might be wondering, why in the heck would I ever want to do that? Well, I'll show you why I did it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who knows if you want to do it? All right. So this is my campfire drunk scene here. And I have a moon and I have my sky, but I wanted a cloud overlapping, a cloud overlapping the moon. And you can't just get that very easy. So if you extract the, uh, the cloud from the sky, you can do that however you want. So this is the uh, Photoshop scene here, and this is my cloud. So I'm going to click off of that and you can see that cloud sitting above the moon. All right. And that is because I extracted that cloud from a sky in some other picture that I had. All right, so let's go back over here to our nice little sky here. And we're going to extract this cloud specifically right here because it's a pretty easy cloud to extract. There's nothing around it. There's no nothing touching it right there. So we can just come in here with our lasso tool or L for lasso tool. And we can come in here and just take this selection right here just like that. And then I'm just going to command or control J to copy that. So that's what we're stuck with right here in this. Uh, I'm going to crop this. I'm just going to bring this all the way in as far as I can. And here, and here, bring it up here. And then if I take a, uh, a selection here of that blue I can fill in the background with blue all right so that'll get me close to where I'm going I can also come in here and just kind of um, and you'll see why I'm doing this here in, an, in just a second so let's let's go right here just paint in and I'm brushing it up there just to cut that line there just a little bit just like that I'm pretty happy with that right there all right so then I'm just gonna merge these two layers so control or command E and then I'm gonna come up here to select color range and I'm going to select my blue color range and you can see what's happening here that right now blue everything that's blue in this image is selected and then I'm just going to come over here let's see and we can mess around with the fuzziness here and see where we're at 
Good. Let's go over something right about there. It's 90. I don't uh, think that is the magical number or anything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a layer mask on that. And then as you can see, it's inverted. So I'm going to Command or Control I and invert that. Now, if we put a black background on this here, we're going to see see here that's not looking too bad there so that's looking pretty darn good there's not a lot of blue in there at all so that's looking pretty darn good if there was any blue in there you could come up here to your uh, and put a layer of let's see just you could put a hue saturation layer on it and clip it and then bring that saturation down just to knock out some little blue or you can go up to your, you go there. We could also go to our curves and attach that. Then we could go up to our RBG, take our blue, and then we could bring our blue down. And you can see when we bring that down, it turns yellow. So we can bring that down just a little bit probably. It's a little blue. So we could bring it bit down to about right there. And that's a pretty white cloud. And so right there, you have a nice cloud. And I'm just going to Command or Control E to merge those. And now we have a nice PNG cloud that we can take and we can drop anywhere in any scene that we want. So let's say that's not enough clouds in this scene. I'm going to bring in a new cloud here and then just bring that right up there. Done. That's as easy as... I don't know what. That's super easy. <laughs> All right. So that's extracting the cloud from the sky. Super easy. I will drop this file in below on Patreon so you can download this and you can have this cloud to do whatever you want with. Or you can extract it, practice along with me, and then go out and photograph your own skies and extract your own clouds and have a way with it. Go to town with it. Almost every gato, Mr. Roboto. How did you like that video tutorial? How did you like that video tutorial on extracting a cloud from a sky? Not so useless now, after all, is it? Huh? Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe. And if you want to get more in depth or download this image, go over to patreon.com forward slash the creative portrait. And I'm Jason Oltred, and I'll see you next time on The Creative Portrait.